No, I'm not teeing off. Unfortunately, we missed the Premier's tee off. Let me tell you something. It was an unbelievable shot that he just got here. We've been we've been waiting for you to come to us, Valen, so we could show you them. And uh, the Premier has been practicing. He's been doing his thing. And when it was down to action, you hit that one beautifully. Well done. Thank you. Premier. Thank you. We d I, we d and you were lying to me. You told me you still, yeah, you're trying. That's more than trying. <laughs> oh, well done yes. to you. How's your golf coming on? Still very early. I've, I haven't been playing for more than a year, so it's st still very early. That's fantastic. Absolutely amazing. So, I mean, you talk about this. So, you're starting off this golf day. The golf day is about to begin now. We've got a nice audience behind us as well. I mean, what does it mean for Gauteng to be, to be the host of, of, I suppose, the host city of all of this, host province? Uh, well, firstly, we are very pleased that we are hosting the African Union Summit. Uh, we, this is a great thing for, for our country, but also for our province. As we always say, it all starts here. Uh, we are the cradle of humankind. Uh, you know, we have Maru being here. So every human being, every African is coming back home. And we're very pleased to be part of uh, the golf day today. I think the whole idea is for the African Union to raise resources from, from Africans themselves. We as Africans must fund our vision, we must fund our plans, uh, because we can't rely on uh, other countries, other dispensations to fund our development. So the, the golf, the AU summit, uh, this presidential golf day today, it's a it's, it's an important contribution to the AU Foundation. Very important development interventions made by the Foundation. Women uh, empowerment and gender equity, youth development and skills development, as well as uh, diversity training. To get, to get our people across the continent to understand we are one Africa, you know, to work for African unity and pan-African solidarity. So as a province, we are, we are also a very important golfing destination. <laughs> Indeed we are. You know. Some of the best golf courses uh, are here in Gauteng, which is wonderful, and this being one of them. Um, just tell me, how is it going to work? I mean, is it really just a, uh, this particular day? Is it, a, is it a, a, a business golf day where businesses are coming, they're paying to be a part of it, um, a lot of donations being made as well, all of this uh, for the African continent? Yes. Um, firstly, uh, yes, it's a fundraising activity. Very, very important business people have been brought together to come and, and support uh, the AU Foundation, as I said earlier on. Uh, but it is also a beautiful day. You know, for golfers, you can see them here. Uh, golfers are looking for every opportunity, every excuse to be on the golf course. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, we work, we work very hard. We work uh, throughout. Uh, so when there's an opportunity to be on the golf course, for, but for a good course, for a good course, we, we would love to spend uh, this day today on the golf course for a good course. Listen, uh, 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 determining what, what you said in the beginning that you haven't been here for a year, that's kind of telling me how hard you really are working if you haven't been able to do this in a year as yet. You no, know, I, I, I do play from time to time, but I play for, for courses. I was saying I've not been playing golf for more than a year. Oh, I'm for still, more than yeah, a year? I'm less, I'm less than 12 months You're, that's old amazing. as a golfer. Well, I'm, I'm a baby really, still I'm impre That was impressive, yeah, everyone? I mean, that was somebody playing less than a year. That was, that was absolutely impressive, Premier. And there might be another career for you uh, that you might not know that's coming. And, and I believe you make much more money playing golf oh you much. know you, you 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 i'm thinking of tiger you know i think i'm thinking that's of what tiger that's yeah. what I'm thinking. let's just um before we we get out of the way because i think everyone wants to tee off now but i just i, I just want to get back to the significance of of this au summit being held here i mean it's being held here in south africa by default but of course um the crux of it here in johannesburg i mean this being seen as the uh, i suppose the economic hub of africa what are we doing? What, what is happening uh, behind the scenes in the background in Johannesburg with a lot of the leaders that are coming together and, and, and Johannesburg, what are we doing for all of this? You know, for the, 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 for the number of African heads of states and heads of governments who are here, again, I want to say that it is a great pleasure for us as a province to, uh, to host uh, uh, the African leaders in our province. Uh, we, as you said correctly, we are an economic hub and an industrial hub of not just the SADC region, but for the continent. Uh, so it gives us an opportunity as a country uh, to uh, show that we're working hard for African unity and pan-African solidarity. You know, one of the, the things we're redressing is that there have been those uh, xenophobic 
uh, attacks, uh, violence against uh, our fellow African brothers and sisters. So one of the important messages we want to send out there is that uh, South Africans are not xenophobic people. We understand our place, our role and place in the African continent. Uh, we would like, we can't define our future outside Africa. Uh, we would like to contribute to African unity, uh, the, the regeneration of Africa. So one of the important things in the next few days we will be talking about here is how we strengthen this. Uh, business people who are in our province, uh, who are in our country have to do, they must have a pan-African perspective. They have to go out into Africa and do, there are major, op many opportunities, unexplored opportunities in our continent. And the rest of the world, Asia, Europe, and the, the Americas know that Africa is the center of gravity in the next 50 years. But we Africans still have to wake up to the reality that we are the center of the world. Growth prospects in Africa are greatest and better than anywhere else in the, in the world. So we have to consolidate our unity. We have to strengthen Pan-Africanism in the new age uh, because, uh, you know, our, the the earlier generations of African leaders and African scholars, uh, they shaped the, the, the first 50 years post-independence. Uh, but somewhere along the way we know uh, we didn't get things right. But I'm very confident that uh, the next 50 years uh, uh, belong to Africa. This is uh, an African century. And uh, we also have to show it on the golf course. This is an African century. Indeed it is. You know, we are playing here at Royal some of the best golfers in the in the world have come and played here during the Johannesburg Open and many others. Uh, so you know we're showcasing also what Africa can can offer uh, on on the on the golf course. So we're very proud of of what we are. We are African. Well, we're very proud of you. And replicate what you did a bit earlier. I mean, we're breaking. Try, try, try it. Try. Right. Here's our premier. So you missed the first tee off. So this is the this is the only golf tournament in the world where the premier gets to tee off. How many times now? It's about five. it's about five times now. But but we're not counting the others. This is the one that counts, premier. No pressure. No pressure whatsoever. Okay. Here we go. Three. Okay. Three <laughs> All right. Here we go. This is the start of the golf day. The official tee off. This is the official tee off. Now watch the pressure mounting. I'll keep quiet. Here we go. Oh, Gauteng Premier David Makura.